uh, Bitcoin price and crypto market tumbled. Um, uh, lower amid weak market sentiment due to high U.S. dollar and treasury yields as a result of stagflation. While macro factors continue to exert pressure on the crypto market, top analyst Marcus Phelan presented 10 catalysts. Traders are watching as Bitcoin fails to show recovery signs. Uh, Marcus Thielen, uh, CEO of crypto research firm uh, Ten Times Research, said identifying and reacting to catalysts so important now is 93.8% of Bitcoin has been mined. In addition, Bitcoin returns in each cycle are dropping by a factor of five. While 2013 saw Bitcoin price given 560x in returns, it decreased to 21 in 2021. He added that Bitcoin may only give four to five times return this year and buy and hold may no longer work. FOMC and inflation data tend to impact Bitcoin price direction significantly. After last month, FOMC BTC price soared as the Fed kept interest rates unchanged and signaled a slowdown quantitative easing. Uh, the Fed meeting on May 1st is important for the crypto and stock markets as Chairman Jerome Powell could turn out to be hawkish and announce less than three rate cuts this year. Now all three U.S. inflation data, CPI, PCE, and PPI, came out hotter recently, driving discussion on the Fed table. But uh, ISM manufacturing PMI and Joel Straub openings data on May 1st uh, can set the initial sentiment uh, before uh, the Fed interest rate decision later that day, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics to announce non-farm payrolls on May 3rd. If this employment statistics is weak, it may indicate stagflation is here. The U.S. economy added 303 K jads in March 2024, most in 10 months compared to a downwardly revised 270 K in February, and forecasts of 200 K. As per the market expectations, experts said the U.S. economy has added 243K jobs in April. A strong labor market can delay the Fed rate cuts. And I'm talking about the producer price index, and I'm talking because I've talked to the Bureau of Labor Statistics on May 14th. And other community prices year-on-year year increased 2.1%, and the percent of being most since April 2023, after 1.6%, Whereas in February, a below forecast of 2.2%. The April data will be crucial due to rising and maybe a CPI inflation rate in the U.S. accelerated for a second straight month to 3.5% in March 2024, the highest since September, compared to 3 and 2% in February. The Fed considers CPI data crucial for making decisions on monetary policy. The CPI inflation figures on May 15th will set the market direction, potentially triggering a rebound in the Bitcoin price. In spot ether ETF application by Vanek is first in line for the SEC's final decision on May 23rd. This will confirm the SEC's decision on other spot ETFs. If approved, ETH price will rally past $4,000 easily and trigger a recovery in altcoins. Uh, DTCC listing Franklin Spot Ethereum ETF on its website triggered a 6 to 8% rally in ETH price over the weekend. However, uh, the odds of the SEC approving a Spot Ethereum ETF are low, as the issue shared that the SEC and its staff have shown no interest in the Spot Ethereum market and its potential. The SEC's decision on ARK Invest Spot Ether ETF is due on May 24th, probably until the last day traders can expect an approval of an Ether ETF. Marcus Steelen said $9.4 billion of BTC and ETH options expiring were a supportive factor for a bullish recovery. However, Bitcoin price fell amid lack of trading volumes and PC inflation data on April 26th. The next two key Bitcoin and Ethereum options open interest expirations are on May 31st and June 28th. He believes Bitcoin price will remain volatile until the end of June. The major market action could start after the two largest options expiry in May and June. As per Deribit data, options traders are making bets for BTC price hitting 100K in September and falling to around 70 to 80K by December. 
MicroStrategy to announce its first quarter results after the market closed on April 29th. An SDR price closed 3% higher to $1,282 on Friday and currently trading 2.38% down at $1,248 in pre-market hours on Monday. And if MicroStrategy adopts FASB accounting rules, which is effective January 1 next year, it will boost its share price and boost earnings significantly. If MicroStrategy changes its accounting standards, there is high possibility of the company inclusion in the S&P 500 index, which is announced quarterly on June 1st. The other two requirements, market capitalization of $15.8 billion and 50% of outstanding shares to be tradable are met.